Welcome, this is Hajar. I'm Moroccan. I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Yes, it's freezing outside. If you want to come join me, you're welcome. Marhaba bikum, as we say in Morocco. So, marhaba bikum in my channel. Welcome to my channel. Um, uh, I do have a small business, Moroccan way. Uh, I created this small business with my sister Hind. She lives in Toronto. Hi, Hind. We sell uh, Moroccan handmade products. Um, so I lived most of my life in Morocco, then I moved to Qatar, I lived there for three years and from Qatar, from the desert, I came here to the snow and uh, I created this channel because many people asked me, um, they want to learn how to cook, many people trust my cooking, I've made lots of workshops, uh, cooking workshops, so it was successful and i want to share this love with you share this cooking dishes with you guys and um, that's why i why i created this channel this is my first video my first cooking uh, tagine cooking we'll cook today chicken mushroom tagine uh, lots of moroccans will say we don't have mushrooms in our cooking but this is a twist uh, i learned from my mom she used to cook uh, this tagine for us and we used to love it and when I was in Qatar and I used to invite my friends from different cultures, most of them loved it. Not most of them, all of them loved it. Um, so this tagine will be very easy to make. A success. I'm not going to use this tagine for cooking today. I just received it. I didn't prepare it yet. Uh, as you know, or maybe you don't know, a Moroccan tagine before we use it for the first time, we need to prepare it. So I'm gonna do a different video where I explain how to prepare a tagine before you start using it. Because I see lots of people struggling with that. Um, cooking in a tagine is very good, very tasty, very healthy, but it's not a must. Uh, that's why we're gonna use this pot today. Uh, I love this red pot. I bought it with love. <laughs> um, still gonna be slow and low cooking and let's get started welcome back yeah I'm ready now so we can get started uh, I've prepared everything so we can start working and cooking um, I prepared all the spices we will have half teaspoon of ginger powdered ginger you can find it everywhere in the supermarket. We do have one tablespoon of turmeric. Turmeric is very important in the Moroccan uh, cooking because we love to color our food and it's very, turmeric is known to be very healthy. It's an antioxidant. We do have one tablespoon of uh, paprika or chili paprika. We have half tablespoon tablespoon of cumin. Cumin is also important, but we don't put it in all the uh, Moroccan tagines. We will use four teaspoon of Moroccan saffron. As you see, the smell is this, of the saffron is amazing. See how beautiful colors we have here. Uh, I will use the Moroccan, uh, the Moroccan saffron from Talouin. Um, the saffron is very, very important in this tagine specifically because it will take your taste to a different dimension. So if you don't use saffron, believe me, it's not going to be the same taste. That's why when I went to Morocco, I went to Talouin. Um, you know that saffron is known in, in the world to be the red gold because it's very expensive. But it's worth it you use a bit and it will take uh, your dishes somewhere else so saffron is very important you can use the moroccan one that you can find in the description i can uh, i will leave the link of the saffron in the description or you can use the iranian one the iranian and the moroccan are the best don't use something different only those two I will have five to six cloves of garlic. Garlic is very important. Generally, we use either onions or garlic. Here we are going to use a garlic and sometimes we can use both, but only garlic. And we have third cup of olive oil. We 
we I, I, most of the time I only use olive oil because it's very healthy oh everything is healthy I have 200 grams of mushrooms and uh, parsley um, generally I use two medium-sized tomatoes but today I only found the small one so I'm gonna use um, two two and a half so we'll start chopping uh, these um, spices we'll put them in the pot later we'll start chopping mushrooms parsley and tomato uh, for the chicken I'm using like almost a whole chicken between a kilo and a half of mixed uh, mixed chicken between chicken legs breasts and uh, to give different tastes and different kind of fats because if you only use a breast breast is dry uh, that's why I use the chicken legs so yes I have the big knife to start the professional one I'm not professional in cutting you guys discovered that with me so I'm learning but I'm still not very professional um, okay so we will start with the uh, tomato you can you can use like small dices of tomato or I prefer to cut it just like slices just like this I'm gonna put the tomato in the pot. We will cut the mushrooms, small slices. As you see, I'm not professional in cutting. But I'm learning with this business with Moroccan way. I'm learning everything. I'm learning everything from scratch because I wasn't used to um, I didn't have an Instagram page before I or even if I had it I was I wasn't very active and so I didn't know how to use all these things so I started learning everything by my own learning how to edit videos uh, how to animate a page how to uh, create not, not create a website but to add products to the website how to make ads how so having an online business is not an easy job but it's something I think you might like it because every day you're learning something new it's just lots of work um, yeah so for uh, for Morocco as I told you, my mom used to be, God bless her soul, a very good cook. And she, teach, she taught us how to cook. I was very young when I started cooking. And I used to help her in the kitchen. We were listening to Moroccan music, both of us, dancing. I didn't start by cooking, I started by cleaning the dishes. So, yeah, I think all the chefs start from these things. You need to start small, grow. <laughs> so for this tagine, every time I used to invite my friends in Qatar, I had a big, big uh, community there uh, from different backgrounds, Indians, um, Lebanese, British, French, and many other nationalities i just forget the others but they all used to love my cooking and love the stagine because it's chicken and everybody loves chicken unless you are vegetarian or vegan but for vegan i will have vegan recipes and vegetarian recipes too because in morocco we do have this kind of um, cooking too so we don't only cook with meat or chicken so I'm almost done with the mushrooms 
I'm getting better, believe me, cutting. And after that, we're gonna do the parsley. We're gonna cut it. Okay, let's go. I saw a video, they teach us how to cut a professional way. If there is a way how you hold the knife and then the way how you do with your fingers and do it a certain way. I still don't know how to do this with my left hand. So I'm gonna do it my way until I learn how to do it. And then cut the parsley. I love cutting the parsley. Yes. Um, I used to have a secret code for my friends when they visited me at home. Because we have a song in Morocco we call Tikshbilati Uliula. So it should be our secret password. So each time they come they need to say Tikshbila and we answer, we go Tiuliula. So the song is Yes, I am done with the parsley and let's put it here. Yep. Here we go. And now we will add the chicken. We will add then the spices and the olive oil and some water. So we'll start with the turmeric. Saffron. Garlic. Um, paprika or hot chili. Whatever you prefer, the dry ginger and olive oil. For salt and pepper, you put whatever you like because it depends on your taste and how you like things to be. So I'm going to add salt and pepper. I love pepper, so I add lots of pepper. It's ready, you see, everything is ready. We're gonna put it low and slow. Now we are done. As you see here, I put it high in the beginning, but later I'm gonna change it to very low um, to, to give it the time to cook slowly, uh, to give us the best taste. We will mix everything to make sure that everything is properly mixed I think we might need more water I'm gonna add another cup So now that it's boiling, we cover it, put it in low, and we leave it for almost two hours. And now that it's almost done, we're gonna add some olives and some pickled uh, lemon. They will add a very charming taste at the end. And see you!
The sauce is ready. The chicken is well cooked. Bsahawraha. Here we go. It's the perfect weather to taste this chicken. Mm. Mm, oh my god. It's so good. But it's not the perfect weather. I'm lying. Let's go inside. Mm. You can eat this chicken tagine with bread as we do in Morocco, or you can have it with rice if you prefer rice. Personally, I'm gonna taste it with bread. Look at this, it's very juicy, very delicious. Mm. The taste is incredible. The saffron takes this, re this recipe somewhere else. It's very delicious. Very juicy. I'm sure you're gonna like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time.